So you're buying your first home and you wanna know, is it okay to buy something dated? Well, first of all, let's don't call it dated, let's call it vintage or retro. You young people love to call things really interesting names. And what you should know is when you're buying your first house, you're often gonna be on a budget. And that means you have to let go of HGTV and let go of your own ideas of frankly what you find in many apartments now, which is hardwood floors and granite countertops and floor to ceiling glass. Now instead you're gonna get sheet linoleum, which does the job and you can replace it fairly inexpensively whenever you're ready. You may get paneled walls. And before you turn your nose up at it, you should know that this is a very North Carolina look and was the most common kind of interior wall for decades and decades. But this right here is not something I would actually keep. This is a plywood paneling. Now, if you're buying a house that has knotty pine, totally keep that because those big trees are gone and frankly you should want to be sustainable but this plywood while it can be painted over requires a lot of priming because y'all this is a thirsty wall covered and it will drink 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 the paint now some people will pull this down and put up sheetrock instead depends on your budget and frankly if you like the natural warm look you can just keep it it does a fine job the other thing you might notice in a vintage home is what looks like a pie plate on the wall that is not a pie plate. They did not have a wild family potluck and the plate just stuck to the wall. What that indicates is that at some point, these previous owners had had a washer and dryer in the kitchen because many years ago, not everybody had a big old laundry room. You'd wash your clothes in the house, carry them outside and put on a clothesline to dry. These folks had added a dryer and then when they moved the laundry location to somewhere more suitable, they just covered up the vent hole on the wall. We often see those on not just former dryer locations, but also on former fireplace vents. You'll see this as a solution that takes care of it without having to redo the whole wall. Now, something else you will notice in a vintage home is that it does not necessarily come with a dishwasher. Now, before you get all upset that you don't have all the amenities, you should know that's a fairly affordable thing to add. Now this particular house, I'm gonna guess that they had one under this floating shelf at some point. I don't know, we'll figure out how we can utilize that space while also taking care of that vent that's right there. But generally, if you have a house like this, it's gonna be less expensive to pull out the cabinets and put in new ones. So let's see what kind of cabinets we have. And we see that these are not super duper solid hardwood. So you could probably recycle these, put these into a shop or put them into your carport or into a closet somewhere and get you some closet, I mean some cabinets that are made. You can buy the ones from the big box stores, but here in Mount Pleasant, North Carolina, we have Udy's cabinets, which are amazing custom cabinets. And this is not a huge kitchen. You'll also notice that you've got kind of a basic sink with crystal ball knobs on it. You know what? It works. One thing that kind of drives me crazy, and I'll just tell you the truth, a lot of our first time buyers expect the Taj Mahal, or as we like to say, you've got champagne taste on a beer budget. But when you're getting in the first house, your goal's always gotta be get into the first house. What you'll find is that you can make these personalized touches and make it your own. And as you build equity over time, you might even decide you like this vintage look just the way it is. And with some updates, it'll be home for a long, long time which should always be your ultimate goal in real estate, not just to have it cute, but to have it as part of your investment strategy forever. For more questions about buying in this area or selling in this area or first time buyer assistance, check out some of these links because I'm here to help.